before we show you some videos today, we wanted to ask, from what you know, what is climate change? Never heard of it. I have no clue. Change in weather. I think climate change is like when it's hot, but then it turns cold on a mat. I don't know. I just like heard that it's gonna like all over like all the cold climate places, it's like starting to melt and it's like not really good for the environment. Climate change is global warming where some people just try our it releases, releasing toxic gases that are ruining the world and they don't even acknowledge it. Some people are saying, debating that, no, it's just part of evolution, like the ice age, and then some people are saying, no, maybe it's the factories. So climate change is a bit of a controversial topic, so mm -hmm. we have some videos talking about the issue and we're gonna see what you think. Let's go. I think this is gonna be very ed educational. Dear future generations, I think I speak for the rest of us when I say, Sorry. Sorry. Sorry? Sorry we left you with our mess of a planet. True. Sorry that we were too caught up in our own doings to do something. True. Sorry we listened to people who made excuses. It's okay. To do nothing. It's okay. Most of us today don't even care about tomorrow. That's actually true. I I'm care about sorry. tomorrow. I'm sorry that we put profit above people, greed above me. I think I totally agree. Well, I'm sorry we use nature as a credit card with no spending limit, overdrafting animals to extinction, stealing your chance to ever see their uniqueness. This is sad. See, you can ignore this, but the thing about truth is, it can be denied, not avoided. This is like so making sorry, me feel sad. So I'm sorry, future generations. I'm sorry that our footprint became a sinkhole and not a garden. Wow. You know what? Cut the beat. I'm not sorry. What? This future, I do not accept it. Because an error does not become a mistake until you refuse to correct it. It's true. We can redirect this. How? How? Let me suggest that if a farmer me. Sees, if a farmer sees a tree that is unhealthy, they don't look at the branches to this die. Is deep. They look at the root. So like that farmer, we must look at the root and not to the branches of government, yep. not to the politicians run by corporations. We are the root. We are the foundation. This generation, it is up to us to take care of this planet. We are not apart from nature. We are a part of nature. This is a good video. This is very inspirational. To betray nature is to betray us. To save nature is to save us because whatever I agree think, because if we don't all work together to save the environment we will be equally extinct that is true put need above greed we can be extinct I'm like shaking now nature gives us what we need to survive and if nature's dead then Another one bites the dust. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction, so... This is learning, but I was supposed to be in summer. We would not be shocked when we see storms that are strong. Oh, my God. Before, that are stronger than ever before, or more drought, hurricanes, and wildfire than ever before, because there's more pollution than ever before. Yeah. This is like something that we need to, like, do something about. Everything, every species is connected genetically from the sunflower to the sunfish, and this is what we must recognize before it's too late. Well, you're helping us recognize it. The real crisis is not global warming, environmental destruction, or animal agriculture. Okay. It is us. What is, These oh, problems oh. Are, it is us. These yep. problems are symptoms of us. It's all because of us. It is our duty. It's like us putting all the gas in like the air. But it is up to you. Yes, you watch me behind this screen to make the effort because time is of the essence. Wow. That. Changed my whole view. Oh my gosh, all these videos are making me think. I'm like, oh my gosh, what can I do? I don't know why people would say like it's not real if this is actually happening. Oh, now I just want to like go and do something about it. So those videos all dealt with the theory of climate change and to put it very, very simply, climate change is change in the weather that takes place over a long period of time that can impact the planet and how we all live. Thank you for explaining that. There are some people who say that it is not something to worry about because the Earth is always gotten warmer and then colder when you study history and we have been okay. 
So this is over-exaggerated and climate change isn't something to worry about and we shouldn't make changes that could make life harder or make anyone lose money or cut back because this is normal in the way that it's always been on the planet. I mean, I can see where they're coming from, but I don't really agree with it because even though that the Earth has been changing and we've been okay, but what if it, it doesn't turn out okay? It's like going at like an alarming rate. What happens when there's no ice left? That's gonna happen. That's an excuse for their business. Because if their business has to do with anything that hurts the climate, they're gonna have to stop their business. Right now, it's not really affecting too much. I mean, yes, it's warmer, but it's not gonna kill us. But eventually, it's gonna get so hot, we're just not gonna be able to survive. If all the major cities in the world are gonna be drowned, where will people live? But on the other side, many scientists say that it is something to worry about, and it's largely because of humans' impact on the planet and the atmosphere making it worse. And there are scientific facts that show it's true, and we have to make an effort to stop this so generations from now we keep the planet safe and livable. Oh, we're gonna be safe. Spring, fall, and winter all make ice because of how cold it is. How much ice fall, winter, and spring made, it won't, summer, for a short period of time, won't melt all the ice that all three of those make. So we just need to stop putting pollution inside the air? That sounds simple. I don't think we should severely drop the things that we are doing right now. Instead of overusing fossil fuels and methane, we have to like tone it down a bit so it would be kind of equal. I've noticed that it's some of politicians versus scientists. They sometimes lie, they do things in their own interest. Scientists, they, their job is to figure out what's wrong, not to figure out a solution to keeping their job. People that are not scientists, normal people, and sometimes presidents are still saying, oh, it's nothing to worry about, even though real scientists are saying we need to worry about it. The other argument is just people thinking that they're right but this one is proving that they're right. You're being really dumb to argue against facts. So what do you think? Is it possible that this isn't a big issue or do you feel climate change is something we should be worried about? We, like, I don't necessarily like, oh, you should always be scared about this. You have to be positive, people. You can't be all down for the rest of your life in a corner like I'm gonna die in two seconds. It's a pretty big issue, because what if it gets too hot? We should be worrying about that, because then if we have children, they might not have a safe place to live, actually. And they might have to live in a rocket ship in space. If there's scientific facts, I don't know why you would argue with that. The people that don't really believe in it, like, should look at the facts, like, just research all this stuff, and then maybe you could try to change their mind and then they can help our environment as well. So why do you think that even though there is a lot of scientific facts being discussed, that people can't seem to agree on it? Uh because, like, the people are like, well, not everyone knows everything. Some scientists may not even think that, and then they'll be like, well, then what's the point of thinking it's true, some scientists do? I have no idea what makes them think, oh, yeah, scientists are lying. There's scientific facts stating global warming is happening. Facts are facts. It doesn't, nobody can change a fact. Scientists aren't the people who cut down the trees and stuff like that. They're trying to help the environment. It's mostly the people in the factories trying to keep their jobs. And if they say, okay, you're right, I admit, this is probably changing the climate. People are not gonna buy their products. They're gonna boycott. Finally, being a kid, a lot of the time you don't get to have your voice heard on important issues such as this, even though this type of issue in many ways impacts your life as you grow up more than adults of today. Exactly. So what would be your message for all the adults out there in terms of why they should pay attention to this issue? Well, adults should just listen to scientists. They're way smarter than you and It'll help me and your future grandchildren stay healthy. Smart enough, people, because climate change is here and you need to fight it. Do you want your child to have a good, healthy life when they're an adult? Then you need to know global warming is happening now. There's no denying it. So do something. Now. Thanks for watching this episode of Kids React. Subscribe for new episodes almost every day. 
We release at 2 p.m. Pacific time. Thanks for watching. Do your part to protect the planet. Hey everybody, it's Dallin here from FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Kids React. What are your thoughts on climate change? Let us know down in the comments. See you guys.